Hello, boys and girls. This is your boy D. Giving you last night's episode of American Horror Story, season seven, episode eight. I don't remember. I don't remember the name of the title. I will put it in the description, though. Let me say this off the bat: This is a great episode. I love how it's, where it's going. It just gets better and better. Each episode gets better and better. I'm enjoying the review in this series so far. Before I even go into to, to last night's recap and slash review, you know the drill, y'all. If you have not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to your right to get see more of my videos, comment on my videos, like my videos, and of course, share my videos. Anyway, let's get on with it. Woo! We get with we have Vincent and Kyle. It opens up with Vincent and Kyle. Basically, uh, Vince, Kyle, Vincent saying he's part of Kyle's accomplishment, accomplishment being a councilman, blah, see, blah, see, blah. He's doing a great job. And Kyle was like, you know, BS with that. Bull skit. You, you basically commit me. You try to commit me to the hospital. You're ashamed of me. And Vincent was like, well, yeah, but I see bigger things. And it's not only that. He's trying to play up to Kyle. You know how Vincent is. He's going to play up to Kyle. And you make it feel like he's, you know, trying to get on his good side. And Kyle's like, okay, saying that, hey, you're my brother. But one thing, and I love how Kyle looked at Vince and said, call me councilman. So you basically see that Kyle is taking on his alter ego. He's eager man. He think he's council. He think he top, top. He on a level. He on a new level right here. On a new level right here. Right? On a new, some new level right here, so. Then we go back, we go to uh, Ivy's restaurant, and basically the ladies are there, Winter, Beverly, Ivy, and they're basically serving men. And, I, and Ivy's serving these cows, uh, I think bodyguards, volunteers, or whatever, and these guys are basically uh, douchebags. Basically saying insulting things to women, the derogatory things to them. Making belittle women, all that. And Ivy was about to kill one of the dudes, you know. He's about to get a knife, she about to kill him, right? And the to stops her. Stops her for killing her. And the guy was basically said, hey. You got a nice, you know, behind. You'd be cute if you shut up, you know. So basically, they go back. Now we swoop, we swoop back to the kitchen, right? Basically, with Ivy, Beverly, and uh, Winter. And Ivy's Ivy, she pissed off saying, I can't stay and work in this blankety blank blank kitchen. We, we were almost close to killing the patriarchy. And Beverly was like, you know, you can't do it because of this army. And we find out that since since Kyle is the councilman now, he basically getting whatever he wants. Whatever he, whatever motion, whatever laws he passed, he getting it left and right. And he's it's like he's definitely on some on, the, on some new level, you know, some new level, right here. Definitely on some new level right here, right? Cool. Now, basically, and then Bethany said, you know, we still could do this, but we have to kill Kai because he basically basically says it's like, look, these guys, they're only loyal to Kai. If Kai tells them to jump, they basically say they jump, honey. Whatever Kai says, they do it. Ain't that's it? So we kill off the head. They, they die. And and then Winter said, no, we can't do that. We have to, you know, we need Kyle for the movement. So she's trying, obviously, she's trying to protect her brother because he's still loyal to the brother family. And Bethany is like, look, cut the crap. We have to do it. You keep you keep defending him. And, you know, Kyle ain't no good. He going to turn on you like he turned on middle. Do you think, you think because, you know, because, you, you know, you, you're his family, you're his sister. He ain't gonna turn on you. Child believe, peace believe. He gonna turn on you too. That's basically what he's, you know, saying to Winter. And Winter's kind of like, you get kind of a backstory, whatever, of Winter and Kyle. They're on some uh, dark website. On the on, on the dark web. There you go. They're on the dark web, right? And basically, they go to this some kind of haunted house. Some guy named, I forget what his name is. Oh, Pastor Charles. I think his name is Pastor Charles or whatever, right? They go into the Pastor Charles. It's kind of creepy, like a little haunted house or whatever, right? 
then the haunted house boom anyway they're inside you see all kind of mess. this guy's in all type of he killing all, all people who he he demeans that are unworthy who committed sin yeah they basically got this one woman she's tied up like in the bondage type of stuff and he and and this is what Kyle's reaction was when she see the, when he see the woman tied up she's like hey that's cool that's blood like he's not so not no with the care to blanky the blanky the blanks right then you further down we see you see guys who get tied up and stuff and this guy basically gets off he kills all the people in the name of some kind of some religion type of mess anyway and then you know Kyle sees that and Kyle tries to start rescue you know basically he's trying to rescue the uh, the people you right and he tells Winter to go get some help and Winter runs to get some help and as soon as she tries to get some help this this creepy guy named Charles is right there he's just about to kill he was just about to you know was going about to do something horrible to Winter right and the car comes and takes him out. I forget what he takes him out with, but he takes him out with something. All right, cool. He's tied up, and Kyle says, "You know what? I'm gonna kill you." And he has him tied up. Uh, you know, says you, you know, evil. You know, you're nothing but evil, black and blank and blank. So he, you definitely see Kyle before. This is what Kyle was for. Cause he's actually, obviously, Kyle was in, wasn't the Kyle we see today. This Kyle wasn't that bad yet. You know. You know, he's kind of like, he still has some goodness, some morality in him. Right? Anyway. And he actually asks him to what to do and what to says, Kill the blankety blank. And, you know, he he, he, he just kills him. And after that, after that lesson, he, he realized that Kyle wanted to save everybody. He couldn't save everybody. So he basically he's going to do like a, he's basically going to just shut the whole thing down and do a, 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 a we do, we going to burn it down and do a restart, a reset, basically. There you go, reset. Right? That's basically what's going to happen. All right, so then we see... And then she basically convinces the women, say, hey, look, let me talk to them. I can get some, I can make them, I can talk some sense to them. Maybe he'll listen to me, blah, see, blah, see, blah. And they went to sit, and I guess the women said, "Okay, cool." And then we see the, you see her and Kyle. Because she goes back to Kyle. And Kyle says basically, "Hey, Winter, how the girls doing?" And and, and Winter says they ain't doing too good because they're working in the you know blankety blank kitchen, and you feel too good. And then and Kyle said, "Well, I was gonna have Harrison work in the kitchen. Kitchen, remember the last obviously uh, Harrison's not here because he you know they kill they killed um, Harrison." And and went to say, are you mad about that? What you know, what happened to Harrison? And in in Kyle says, now now oh now oh now. And basically, and Kyle's gonna do the pinky swear. As he normally he does a little pinky swear like this, right? He does the pinky swear, and then mid pinky swear he stops. And we just says, what's going on? You should keep going. Why are you stopping, bro? What's up? What's going on, bro? Why are you stopping? And Kyle was like, I love you. I need you. I need you to. We need family. And you gonna help me create this family, and you gonna create. And she and he says, I'm gonna create a new Messiah. And he went to say, I don't wanna have sex with you, Kyle. That's incense. Incense. That's that's. I I'm not down with no. I'm not down with no incense. That's that's too much. I don't want no incense. Ugh. And, and Kyle said, Nah, nah. I ain't gonna be no incense with you. We're gonna have Samuel. He gonna impregnate you. He will enter you as I enter as I enter him. And this is Kyle's ass. This is so funny. Kyle was like, you cool with that? I was like, Kyle, if you don't stop, you, you, you ugh. Ugh. I was like, ugh. That's, that's disgusting, bro. I was just, ugh. Since, ugh. That's disgusting. Anyway. Basically, I guess he's, I don't know where they were at. I don't know if they were at home or some kind of hotel or whatever. Basically, they, would, they have rich, they will bag. We see Kyle, Samuel, and uh, Winter, and 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 saying this is gonna be, and this is what he said. This is all the places we, places where the Messiah will be born every time we do this. And Winter was like, we only got one Messiah. It only it should be only Messiah. I was like, Kyle, you, you, you nuts, bro. You you on some you on some old new level stuff. I was like, oh. And basically, 
and uh, he and, and as, as Sam was trying to uh, enter um, winter, he was like, "I can't do it. My uh, my sauces me ain't really getting too uh, it ain't firm. It ain't firm. It's soft." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't, I can't, I can't. So, like, my thing ain't, 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 ain't firm. It's off. And Kyle was like, you know what? <laughs> baby, the pressure of, of the Messiah's, of the Messiah, baby, making your little, making the, making this, making the sauces be kind of soft. <laughs> and then, and just as about as he as just as he, as he was trying to go get winter was like you know what you know what I, I ain't fool with y'all y'all crazy I ain't with this I ain't what I signed up for this ain't for me ain't too much I can't do this this is this is some sick crap crap but you know it and then this is what, this is saying this fool says something this he said you know what maybe maybe I could put my my love juices into the little turkey booster and then maybe I could just squirt it inside her. Maybe I could put my, my love juices in this in the turkey booster and maybe I could squirt it inside her. <laughs> yeah that's well maybe that will work. And Kyle was like, no we're not gonna do that. We gotta do it we gotta do it the proper way the the ritual way. It got to be done a certain way. So you know Kyle's pissed man. He he on something he on he seen steaming red. He like a like he like a hot pepper hot tomato he up he up his ball is boiling up boiling up up the top he said he blowing he blowing up oh and, <laughs> and then we basically see uh we see uh what in the new orange back and she got a little dunce cap <laughs> yeah outside and then you see you see what you know see you see who rolls through you see what rolls through you see uh Samuel, right? Samuel goes through. She goes. She goes inside the car, saying, "Glad you see you there. You know, I won't get out of this dump." And then Samuel calls her a servant. Servant saying, "You know, ooh. he calls like I want you to put the trash back. <laughs> where you pick up, put it back there. Put the trash back. Where you put it back? Just put the trash back where you go because he don't believe in going warm. I was like, Kyle, you, you, okay, Kyle, okay. And then, and and then." And then went to see this apple and said, can I get this apple? And he's like, nah, you ain't getting it. And then went to, was like, you ain't got the father's orders, man. You can you be your own man. You ain't got, you ain't got to be his little blankety blank blank. You ain't got to be his little B. And Sam was like, nah. -uh. He said, so you got an old twist again. I, he's my, so when I first started, he was my B. I, I was the top one. I was the top B. All right? I wasn't the bottom one. I was on top. You know what I mean? He was on top. You heard me? I was on I was on the top B. Get it right, girl. Get it right, girl. I was on the top B. And basically go on this story saying Kyle was so some kind of you know some, some you know prescription medicines doing forward. He catches them, he beats them up, and basically says, Look, I can take you down, I'm take you out, but I want to cut. He's like, I want I want 70-30. Alright? And basically this guy was a womanizer, right? He's some playboy getting on the one problem every time the only problem he had every time he was trying to have intercourse with a woman he couldn't keep it up. It always got soft. He couldn't keep it on every time he got soft. So all the women were playing like he's soft and this and that and dirty, right? Kyle knows this is constant saying the only reason why you're getting soft, you letting these women take the power from you. You give your power away from that's why he's soft, you're giving your power to the woman, you know what I'm saying? You really need to give your power to the man because it'll, it'll get harder. <laughs> you see Kyle getting the end of this guy and Kyle, you know what I'm saying? So he happened, he getting rough, so And Winter was like, well, you gay, that's why. It's all, it's all right, you just say you gay, that's it. Gay be proud, that's all. Keep it real, you just, you don't like, you don't like the females, you don't like the female kitty. You like the sausage meat, that's cool. Just say you gay, that's all, that's all, be cool with it. And he's like, nah, I, I'm not gay. You talking about I ain't gay. He makes some excuses about ah, oh, you know he just gives you. He, 
I, I, I give the power back to the men. Some I was like, okay, just say, just say you're gay, all right? Just why are you lying? Just say you're gay. Just be done with it. And he just says, he said, "F you, you can't keep it up." And he basically went like, "No one wants so Nick soft." Sauce me, and he got he got into his feelings, and he says, "I'm gonna do what I should have done." What Kyle wants, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna enter you. And we went to say, "You can't even do that because you 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 can't even get you, you can't even do that because last time you tried, you got soft. You can't even get in there." It went like this. It went like it went that's what you, that's your sauce me going right, <laughs> and then. And then Sam is like, I'm going to show how I get hard. I'm going to choke you. 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 <laughs> As he was about to choke her, went to got this gun and said, and got the gun, put the gun pointing at him and say, Valley is right. You're a man. You're disgusting. Say your turn. He said, I ain't going to say it. Say your goddamn lowy low, low, low turn. He was like, F you. And she got the woman up. Shoot some bam. Oh, I forgot another scene. We got a scene with Ali and Vincent. Basically, you see Vin Ali saying, Vincent, you, 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 F you, you put me in this, in this psych ward and this and that for three weeks. But then Vince basically spills his tea saying that, hey, Kyle's my brother. I kind of knew everything's going on. I know how far he was, but he's my, he's this and that. And then, and then Ali, and then Ali started putting the pieces saying that Kyle sent me all this, all these little crazy events that was happening to her because of this Kyle with the dead birds, the clowns all came from Kyle his wife and this and that you know, basically I trusted you and you you screwed me over and Kyle's like you know, and so sort of, Ali just wants to get her son he basically says, I know what to do and then in another scene, you see Ali making some, uh, stop the Joes I believe, he's making stop the Joes who gets it, who, who, who's at the door? Kyle with his bodyguards and basically saying, come on in. And Kyle was like, if you're trying to kill me, ain't going to worry because I, my boy's going to take the fall. And I said, no, nah, I ain't going to try to kill you. I'm not trying to kill you. I want, I want some info. I'm gonna keep, I, I need something from you. I, I can give you what you want. I'll give you information. And then he started talking, saying, you know, Kyle, I ain't, you know, you, your wife did something that you, I never did. I'm cured of my fears. I'm basically, I ain't scared no more. You hit me the best shot, and I'm cool. I can take it. And basically, you see, Kyle, you see, Al being just being more stronger. She ain't scared of Kyle, Woody Woo, and you know, basically says, "I want in. I want my son back." And so basically, and then the next thing we see, then we see, uh, we see, you see the clowns coming. You see the clowns with all the ceremony. You see who comes in. This is this is a this is a good twist, cause I didn't think this was gonna happen. I didn't think Vincent was gonna be it's gonna be Vincent and Bethany were all tied up. Now you see Vincent, right? And Vincent trying to please his case, saying, "I need you. Come on, give me the chest. I ain't gonna do it." And then Kyle Kyle basically says, "You was trying to get me committed to the hospital, cause Alex, cause we Alex spilled the tea, saying Vincent was trying to get you committed, and she heard it from from Alex, right? And and Vincent says." Remember this pinky swear? He does, and as he go do the pinky swear, he stops the pinky swear. You know what he does? He shots his pinky, and then, and he, I think he stabs him with a knife or something. He just, I was like, damn. I was like, dang, Vincent's dead? Cause I thought Vincent's the face, so I didn't think Vincent was gonna die. I said, that's a good twist. I said, oh my god, Vincent's dead. Vincent is dead. Kyle's brother's dead. Oh my god. Then you see Beverly coming up, and Beverly, <laughs> and Vincent says. F you, Kyle, and, he went and Kyle says, "Winter, because this is what Kyle said. Kyle said that Winter says that you killed Samuel. We know it ain't true, obviously. That Winter's the one that killed Samuel." And Kyle said, "F you, F you, and this Winter's lying. F and this Kyle ain't shit. Kyle ain't this. Kyle ain't that. Kyle ain't ain't bullshit. He's a liar. She's a liar." Kyle, you this, you you lied to me, equal power, equal and and Kyle's like, you my you my you my favorite. And I, and, and Beverly's like, you can kill me if you want to. And Kyle says, I ain't gonna kill you. I ain't gonna kill you. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically lock you inside too. 
So basically, he kind of knows that I went to Zion. So it's a spot. He's like the only few people he actually that, that live besides. I think Miller, he that he that live, right? Then we see all the people we feel take off the clown mask. We see Ivory, we see Greg, we see the other people. But who and he kind of said, who's who's who woke up to the newest member of the clown? Who who, who, goes up, who takes off the mask? Who's the last member of the clown though? You know who the last member of the clown is? Bam, Ali. And Ivy and Ivy was shocked, like, yeah, shots fired. So basically, that was the end of the episode. Again, it was a great, great episode. And anyway, before I go, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to the channel. Comment on my videos, like my videos, and of course, share my videos. Anyway, this is your boy D. Uh, I will be heading. I'm out. Holla.